the book of Revelation, chapter 22, starting from verse 7. And it reads, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the prophets. And of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship the power. And he says unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Yes, the time is at hand indeed. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor. Shalom to you, the listeners, the hopeful elect. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, our forefathers, the power that they call upon, the Lord they call upon. His name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son who made it possible for us to be back in the good grace of our power, Yahweh. His only begotten son, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the root and offspring of King David. His name is Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Washai means the deliverer or the savior. That's right. That's what his name means. And that's what he's about to do eh, for the children of Israel. Starting with the so-called Negroes, so-called blacks, eh, so-called Native American, Native Indians, so-called Hispanic, those so-called Latinos. Yes, these are the children of Israel spread among these nations. That's right. And it is the Lord Yahweh that gave us into the hand of these nations. Because when we made that covenant eh, with Moses, when Moses came and said, this, eh, in the book of Deuteronomy, read the whole chapter, family. We agreed to keep the laws and the statutes and commandments. And it came with conditions. And the conditions, one of them was slavery. One of them was that we're going to be at the bottom of every society. And yes, the Lord came through. Yes, he gave us into the hands of our enemies. But being the father that he is. Yes, the merciful father. Eh, full of tender mercy for his children. Israel, that's right. He's about to show that mercy once again. But this time he's not going to save everybody. His son, our king, Yahweh Shai, is only coming to save an elect of Israel. But before he comes, there will be a third world war. That's right. Also written in the book of Revelation. 8, 13, it tells you. It says three wars, three world wars. We know the first world war came and passed and the second world war came and passed. Now we have one more war. The last war before the king takes over the kingdom. And that's where everything is leading. And also there will be the hour of temptation. Revelation 10, 10 Revelation uh, 3, 10. The hour of temptation that shall come upon the whole earth. Meaning what? Esau is about to change the current system. He's about to collapse this system and introduce his so-called new world order. Where in order to survive in his society, you have to what? Bow down to his image. And you have to take down, you have to take his mark. Revelation 13, 16. These are the two major prophecies that we are waiting for. But yes, it will be fulfilled. 
Because the word that comes out of the mouth, the word, the Lord's mouth will not return to him void. It will accomplish everything that he said it will. Yes, nobody can resist his will, family. The Lord will do all his pleasure. So yes, we have one more war, the third world war. It doesn't matter what anybody says, family, there will be a third world war. But this time it will be a nuclear war. Yes, and there will be the micro to the CHIP. Esau will Im implement those, uh, uh, those CHIP. That's right. It is coming. The micro to the CHIP is coming. The Karagma, Revelation 13, 16 is coming. We have the sure word of prophecy. Again, let's go to the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing but he reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. That's what the Lord did for us. Let's give double honors to the teachers that the Lord brought into our life. Starting from our elders, from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Without them, Father, we would not have any understanding. But because the Lord said what? He would bring us teachers. And he said, our eyes shall see our teachers. Some of these men have been laboring for many, many, many years. So that's why, family, the Lord says what? Give double honors to your leaders, your elders that rule well. And that is the, our elders from the great millstone that taught us this truth from New York. That's right. Salutation, peace to all the brothers day in and day out. Eh? Fellow laborers doing this work. Eh? Exalting the name of our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. When it's not even, it's not popular, but that's how it's supposed to be. Because finally we are doing the will of our King, Yahweh Shai. And he's the one that is coming to glorify us. We are not looking for glory on this end. He came, Yahweh Shai came, he did the Father's will. And now we are doing our Lord's will, Yahweh Shai, who's going to be our big brother. He's going to be our father in the kingdom. He's going to oversee everything. That's right. He, we are doing his will. It's called order. Because family, we know that we need order in this kingdom here. That's right. The new kingdom that is coming, there will be order. You better believe it. And Yahweh Shai is the one bringing the order. You're not going to get up and able to do whatever your heart desire. You wake up this morning, you want to worship a tree, you worship a tree. You want to eat pork, you eat pork. Eh? You want to you wanna change your sex, you change your sex. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not going to happen in the kingdom to come. He's coming to put an end to all this debauchery. And that's what we are looking forward to. You better believe it. We are looking forward to a righteous kingdom. Yes, a righteous kingdom kingdom that's what we are advocate that's what we are praying for day in and day out we said lord how much longer yes we want you to bring a quick destruction to this place and establish the righteous kingdom family let's get into it we have few articles to cover yes family it's all about the prophecy it's all about the prophecy that's what the hopeful elect look forward to the hopeful elect are not looking forward to prosperity gospel family they are looking forward to the prophecy what is happening what is going to take place before the king comes? What is Yahweh Shai saying? Because Yahweh Shai is speaking through what? The prophets. We are the mouthpiece of the Lord. So take heed and listen to the word. Prepare your mind. Eh? Prepare your heart. The king is coming. Repent, repent, repent. And eh? starting with myself. Okay? None of us are perfect. But constantly we are repenting, asking the Lord to blot out our sins. Because we want deliverance. Because the time that we are about to enter into, if the Lord is not with you, you are finished. Yes, you are finished. So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The time is coming when you call him, you're not going to find him. You're not going to find him. But we are extremely grateful for what he has done for us. This is the sure message of David. Because if we didn't have this truth, family, we are done. Now we have this truth. This is the comforter. Eh? Directly, Yahweh Shai told us he will never leave us comfortless. He will never leave us comfortless. And he's comforting us through what? Through his word. And he is the word because he told us why. He said, the word that I speak to you, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. This is what is sustaining us. While the world is running around like a chicken with the head cut off, we are stable. And again, Revelation, sorry, Isaiah 33, 7 says what? Wisdom and knowledge is going to be what? The stability of the time. And the strength of our salvation and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. 
Because the fact that we are stable right now is because of what? Because of the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these precepts. That's right. This is what is comforting us. Let's get into it, beloved. Here, look at the headline news today. Hmm? It says here, international news. It says, U.S. and Israel begin joint military exercise. Okay? We're going to fly through it. I'm just going to... And then here, Russia, Syria to hold six-day military drills. Why do you think they're all doing military drills? Because they are preparing for the war of Armageddon. We will bring the precepts too. We will bring the family we have received. Everything that they are doing, they are doing the will of the Lord. They are not in control. The Lord says what? In the book of Proverbs 21, 1, it says what? The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, he turns it whichever way. That word heart goes back to what? Uh, the Hebrew word love, meaning your mind. The, the Lord is controlling these nations, their leaders. It's the Lord is the one controlling their mind to fulfill his will. Okay, it says Russia, Syria to hold six-day military drill. And here, let's go back. And what? U.S. and Israel begin joint military exercise to do what? Preparing for what? The war against Iran. Family, that's where the war of Armageddon is going to take place. Let's go here. And then he says what? China conducts second day of exercises nearby, Taiwan says. That goes to show you that war is going to be in the Middle East. Family is going to be the East against the West. The war to end all wars. That's the Third World War. That's right. We have the sure word of prophecy and there's nothing anybody can do about that. Let's continue. It says here, all 31 NATO nations send message to Iran for supporting Russia. You hear that? Family, they ha there is a dividing line between the East and the West. Russia is in bed with Iran, China, eh? and some of the nations in the Middle East. And they are the one family. They're going to take on the West, America and NATO and its allies and Israel. Family, the Third World War is coming. It's nothing, there's nothing anybody can do about that. Let's get this one here. It says, colossal increase in NATO forces for conflict with Russia. 400,000 soldiers on standby. Moscow is the Barbar Barbarossa's plan. Yes. They are preparing to go. Family, what is happening in Russia and Ukraine? Family, Third World War already started. And it's already started. And the nations know that. But it hasn't gone, it's, it, it, it's, it, it hasn't reached the Middle East yet. It's coming. It is coming. If the Lord said it's going to happen, family, you better believe it. It's going to happen. We have the sure word of prophecy. Nothing anybody can do and to prevent the Third World War. Family, there will never be peace. Yes, you heard me. There will never be peace on, until the king, Yahweh Shai, eh, is sitting on the throne. This world will never see peace until Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, because his name means Shiloh. Eh? Shiloh means peace. That's one of his names. And if the prince of peace is not here with us, family, there will never be peace on this planet. It's Yahweh Shai that's going to bring that peace. Because in his kingdom, this nation will learn no war no more. Because Yahweh Shai's kingdom, it will be a peaceful and righteous kingdom. That is coming. That is coming. That's what we are looking forward to. That's what we are looking forward to. Hmm? It says here, NATO joined uh, it says Ukraine in the Atlantic Alliance after the war. The ball now goes to Russia. No, NATO, family, NATO, that, that entity is finished. Because why? Because it's the Lord's movie. The Lord is directing, directing all these nations. America, Babylon, the great. The last leg of the Roman Empire. The Lord is about to take it down through who? Through Russia and its allies. That's what is about to happen. Yes, they're not going to build back better. They're not going to have their fourth industrial revolution. Nobody's going to be eating bugs and be happy about it. Nobody's going to be living in 15-minute cities. No, we are telling you that the Lord says what? They will not fulfill their enterprise because that's what the Bible says. And we believe every word in, that word in the Bible. You better believe it. Yes. And then here, now we got to look at the river Euphrates. Why are we bringing uh, river Euphrates? Because that's also prophecy. Because why? It is drying up. Family, we have received. Let's go. Let's go. We have received. Hmm? We have received. Let's go. River Euphrates. Why you asking me? Why did I bring uh, River Euphrates? Let's go to. Ooh, let's see here. 
Ah, uh, that's not it. Uh, let's go here. I can actually do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Please bear with me. Um, here. Revelation. Let's go to Revelation 16, 12. I believe it is. Revelation 16, 12. Why are you asking about river Euphrates? Eh? Let's go to family. We have receipt. Eh? Yahweh Shai. Yes, he gave us everything. You better believe it. Eh? Through the Holy Spirit, family. He gave us everything. We lack nothing. Eh? We have this wisdom in this earthen bodies. Yes. That's what family. We are extremely grateful. River Euphrates. Why are you asking about the dryness? Why is the river, eh? this big river that supply uh, resources to supply water to all the surrounding countries? Family, why is it drying up? Look at the images. Eh? Why is it drying up? Eh, like I said, it says what? It's, it's biblical prophecy. Family, it is prophecy being fulfilled right in front of your eyes. So we go and we give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because before it happens, he tells you of it. That is the power that we serve. We serve Yahweh. The only power that matters, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The rest of the nations, whatever they worship, is nothing but idol. We, the Israelites, that's right, the Israelites, we serve the true power. Again, the Israelites, we serve the true power. The creator of the heaven and the earth. He says, Revelation chapter 16, verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. And the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Are you listening to that? The way of the kings of the east. Why are they being prepared for the third world war? That's why the Lord dried up the river. Okay, family, we have the sure word of prophecy. The river Euphrates is drying up in front of your eyes and there is nothing anybody can do about it because this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. He gets the glory. He gets the honor along with his only begotten son, our king, whom we cannot wait to see, Lord willing, we are among the numbers. He says here, yes. now let's get into the articles. Family, we're not going to read the entire thing. If we read the entire thing, we'll be, we're going to be here till tomorrow. Okay, so let's go through it. We're just going to probably read a couple of paragraphs and we're going to move on. Yeah, just to let you know what is happening. Okay, we got to be in the know. This is a high time to awake out of sleep. This river is drying up because why? This time is near. The third world war. We're going to bring back, we're going to bring Joel chapter 3 and we're going to read through it. It says here, Washington, July 11th, United States and Israel forces have started joint military exercise in Israel as the two countries deepen security cooperation amid tensions with Iran. You hear that? Tensions with Iran. They are going to find me. The Lord gave them these technologies to create all these missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Hey, apparently the ICBM from Russia to America will probably take less than half an hour to reach America, the soil of America. Yes, the Lord gave them the technology to build this stuff and they're going to use the same technology to destroy themselves. That's how beautiful this whole thing is about to go down. Hey? We are extremely happy hey? because why? We know that our kingdom is coming next. I don't know about you, but family, oh, rulership, rulership. That's what we're looking forward to with the king. Okay, rulership, king, kingship, king, family, rulership minded, eh? That's, 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 that's what we're thinking about, eh? Hmm? Kingship, that's right, being on top of the food chain. You better believe it. It says here, uh, Monday, that, so let, let, let's, let's go back. It says that the, Israel, the Israeli military, said on Monday that the drills will incorporate a number of scenarios, including long-range stri strategic striking. For its part, the Central Command of the U.S. military, which oversees operations in the Middle East, said the joint training, part of an exercise series dubbed Juniper Oak, shows the U.S. commitment to Israel defense. Family, isn't it amazing? This is, they move, they move into the land in what, 1948. They haven't found peace. But the Bible says that when we return, 
When we return to that land, family, there will be no more war. That's right. So you ask yourself, who are those people living on the land? Are they the people of the book? Eh? Family, this is just all a big joke. Eh? We know the whole world is upside down. The whole world is full of lies upon lies upon lies upon lies. Nobody is going to tell you that you are royalty. You are from the royal family. Nobody is going to tell you because it doesn't benefit them. And you had your enemies at the bottom and they continue to serve you. You're going to turn around and tell them that, oh, listen, you guys are the children of the Lord. You know that the king is coming to get to gather some of you. No, they will never tell you that. Eh? But our people still getting up and going to the churches. Eh? The churches that they established. Yes, the churches that Esau Edom put in, put, he put the churches there. And, and, and every Sunday, our people get up, they dress their children, their mothers, their father, their grandfather. They drag everybody into that hallowed houses to worship who? To worship sweet baby Jesus. Blue eye, blonde hair, pale skin. That's right. But we are so blessed, extremely blessed that at one point, that was us. And then the Lord showed us mercy by removing us from those hallowed houses. Yes. And here we are. That's why we never stop thanking the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, for what he has done for us. Family salvation is already in our hearts. That's right. You, believe, you better believe it. That's one thing. He said knowledge, eh? knowledge is power. Once you know, uh, you know what is happening, family, you are free. Eh? You are free. You know what is coming. Before even it happens, you know what is about to take place. Yes, family. That's how free we are. Yahweh Shai said, you shall know the truth. Who is the truth? He is the truth. And the truth shall make you free. You better believe it. Yahweh Shai made us free. You better believe it. Let's go. Hmm? So family, I will put all this in the description box. And you can access it. There is a long ad. And actually, this one is short. But family, we want to move on to the next one. Eh? This is the rapid fire. He says, Russia, Syria, to hold six-day military drill. So you have America and what? Uh, and Israel eh? having a drill eh? against what? Preparing to what? Face, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Iran. And now you have Syria and Russia to hold six-day military drills. Family, it's getting juicy. Eh? July 4th. This is from Rowdes. It's a joint Russian Syria Air Force and air defense exercises will begin in Syria on July 5th and last six days. Rear Admiral Oleg Gorinov, head of the Russian Reconciliation Center for Syria, was quoted as telling Russian news agency on Tuesday. In the course of training, it is planned to work out the issue of joint actions of aviation, air defense, and electronic warfare forces in a proportion of airstrikes. Garinov said, oh, you got to love it. Family, you got to love it. It's all preparing. We're going to bring the, the, hmm? we're going to bring the precept. Family, that's, I just want to go through some of them and then we're going to bring the precept. Hmm? Let's go through them and then we're going to bring the, it says China. Yeah, this is from oh, NBC News. It says China conducts second day of exercises nearby, hmm? Taiwan says. The large-scale drills include fighter jets, bombers, and warships as Beijing keeps up military pressure on the self-ruling island democracy it claims as its territory. And it says here, China Air Force and Navy staged a second day of large-scale exercises with fighter jets, bombers, and warships to Taiwan South and Southwest on, the, on Wednesday. The island defense ministry said, as Beijing keeps up its military pressure, while China has not commented on the exercises, they are happening less than two weeks before Taiwan staged its own annual drills and as NATO holds a summit at which alliance leaders said China challenges its interests, security and values with its ambitions and coercive policies. We are so blessed, family. The fact that we are alive to see the fall of this kingdom. And we pray that the Lord will give us the strength and to endure to the end. Because he said, they that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Family, the Lord didn't wake us up to leave us here. He woke you up to tell you that it's time. <laughs> eh? This is your last captivity. you done. He's about to take us home. That's right. He's about to take us home. Not just take us home, family. We are going out in style, family. Lord willing. Eh? Hmm? Lord willing. 
Lord willing, man, Yahweh Rataza. Lord willing, eh? Lord willing, we are going out of here and star, eh? I don't want Rataza, indeed, man. It simply means, oh, Lord willing. I don't want, I don't want Rataza. Man, it's going to be beautiful, family. It's going to be beautiful. Finally, finally to see the fall of your enemy, eh? This wicked kingdom. Here, it says, all 31 NATO nations sends message to Iran for supporting Russia. It said, Iran has been warned to stop boosting Russia's military lifeline in Ukraine by NATO. Over the last year, the Middle Eastern country has transferred hundreds of drones, also known as unscrewed aerial vehicle. Hmm? Uh, to, um, I, think, I think they mean unarmed aerial vehicle. I don't know why it says unscrewed. I think it's unarmed aerial vehicle to Russia to terrorize civilians in Ukraine. Look at America is the biggest terrorist. America and NATO. The biggest terrorist. Family, you don't have to look far. Recent, recent episodes was what? Uh, what is it called? Afghanistan. Eh? You have Iraq. You have I Syria. You have Libya. That's why right. They are the biggest terrorists. Eh? Those, the, the Western world. You, tell, you turn around. But anyway, family, at the end of the day, we don't care. They are doing the will of the Lord. And we just want the Lord to bring an end to all this. And he's bringing it. He's bringing it. He's bringing it. So yeah, they're sending warning to Iran. Iran, be careful. Hmm? They said that's what they're saying. Be careful. We have 31 nations. We are ready to attack you. Family, that's not going to come to fruition because we believe what's written in the Bible. Because at the end of the day, Russia, along with its allies, is going to bring down America, Babylon the Great. That's right. Your, your, your favorite nation, America. That's right, family. Yes, America, when it's all said and done, is going to be the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord said. These are not my words. The Lord, the one that said it. Mm -hmm. I'm just the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. The mouthpiece. It says here, colossal increase in NATO forces for conflict with Russia. 400,000 soldiers on standby. Moscow. It's the Barbarossa plan. Let's go. It says here, for the first time since World War II, NATO is adopting new defense plans to be implemented in the event of war with Russia. The new defense plans cover five to six areas and to be implemented. It will be necessary to revise all existing NATO structures. Reports indicate that the rapid reaction force will now amount to 400,000 troops. Hmm? The first plan covers the high north and the Atlantic led by Joint Force Commander in Norfolk, USA. The central region plan led by the, the Brusun administration in the Netherlands will cover the Baltic and the Alps. And then the third defense plan will cover the southeast of the military alliance, including the Mediterranean and the Black Sea with, with uh, Naples, Italy commanded. Family, you see that? That is called Third World War. Hey, that's right. Third World War family is going to be a doozy. It's going to be a doozy. Hey, it says here, actually, no, let's go to here. So now here, this is the river. Eh? Euphrates River. It's all drying up because what? We read it in the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 12. Eh? The angel poured out what? his vow to dry up the what? The river to make the way for what? All the kings of the east eh? which are going to be what? Russia, China, North Korea, South Korea, Iran family. They're all coming together for what? Third World War. Actually, you know what? I think this is the best time to actually let's go here. Hey, let's go here. So this is what uh, Nevedev, Medvedev, if, if you guys don't know him, used to be the former president of what? Russia. Now he's the head security uh, guy. Actually, let's read it. It says here, World from Hartena radio show. It says here, Ukraine uses cluster bombs on, Toma, on Tokamak. Russia to respond. Russia to respond in kind. Third World War is approaching. You hear that? This is coming from what? This gentleman here. The deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, and this is a high, high, high-ranking member. This is a former president and former prime minister. So let's listen to what he has to say. The deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, warned that Third World War is approaching. Eh? Family, what did we say? The Lord said it. Eh? 
We know the Lord said, the Lord is controlling this nation. Family, that's why Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, those names need to be exalted. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All these nations, whatever they worship, family is not even worth you know, mentioning. All their books that they've written, eh? Where, did any of them able to pro, uh, you know, proclaim, uh, any of them able to uh, what is it called, prophesy about the time that we are living in? No. The only power that matters is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. We serve the almighty power and it's only about his people, Israel. That's right. It's only about Israel. Hmm? It's only about Israel, the children of Israel, the 12 tribe, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Blacks, the so-called Native Americans, eh? the so-called Indian American, whatever name the oppressor gave us. That's right. You're going to find us in the ghetto. That's right. We are the children of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. We are the ones that nobody cares about. We are the ones that don't have what? A, uh, a seat at the table. Hmm? But we are waiting for our kingdom. We are not expecting anything from any of these nations. No. The Lord is the one that put us in this state. And he's the same one that's going to deliver us. That's right. We are not trusting. We don't trust anybody. The moment the Lord opened our eyes, that was it. We checked out from this world. That's right. Spiritually, we departed. Now, we are back with our Lord, Yahweh. Asking for what? Forgiveness. Repenting. Doing our best. That the spirit that he has poured upon us, you continue to pour that spirit upon us. But now, because why? Now we can see clearly. Before we were blind. We were following all these nations. Following their gods. Celebrating their holidays. Everything that they brought to us, we adopted it. And then we add our own signature. That's right to it. We became wicked. More wicked than the actual wicked of the nations. That's right. But now, we are back with our Lord now. Now we are strong. Now we, are, we can see now. Hey, now we can live now. We are free now. That's right. That's what, this, this, that's what the word does for you. Hey, that's what the word does for you. We are not, a, we are not worried. Because we know now that this whole world, hey, majority of these people are, are fast asleep. But the light is shining upon the Lord's elect. And we are about to go home. Let's read this. Let's read it, family. Let's read it. Let's read it. The deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, warned that the Third World War is approaching, stressing that Russia will respond to a bombing carried out by Ukraine with cluster munitions. And this cluster munition apparently, family, was banned and by the UN and all the nations agree that it, it makes no sense to use it because sometimes it doesn't detonate and then it ends up destroying fields and lands and you know sometimes children come across it and then this particular bomb explodes and destroys livelihoods. Eh? But America, Babylon the Great, America this week and last week America decided to same, send the same cluster bomb. You see, now you know now you know who the terrorist is now you know who the devil is eh? you now you know who the red horse is the one that took peace from the earth eh? it's esau edom the one that's why the same one dressed in tie and suit that's why they are the same animals that's right and the lord yahweh is coming to take them down you see that's esau he is not fit to rule he has destroyed the world and Yahweh Shai is coming to take him down. If anybody doesn't want that, the Lord will destroy you too. That's right. If you want this wicked world to continue, the Lord will destroy you too. It says here, Medvedev wrote via, via Telegram that the, prelim, the, sorry, the preliminary results of today's NATO summit were identical to Russia prior expectations, pointing out that the special military operation will continue with the same goals and that the most important of these goals is to reject Kiev's effort to join NATO. Mm -hmm. this, war, this, war, this is what started the whole war. Because, but at the end of the day, we know that the Lord is controlling it all. He says here, commenting on the results of the prelim, sorry, preliminary NATO summit today in Vil Vilnius, 
Medvedev paid special attention to the decision to invite Ukraine to join NATO, although the date of its ascension was left open and no conditions were set for that. He also pointed to the decision to raise the amount of military aid provided to Kiev regime. Medvedev also said that all Western, he had all Western, eh? your NATO, your America, your Britain, your, your France, the French, and found all Western world, okay? Including Canada. And Canada is not part of EU, but it's part of NATO. And to Kiev regime with various weapons. It says here, the latest, sorry, so let's read this again. Medvedev also said that all Western aid, aid to the Kiev regime with various weapons, the latest of which is a cluster of munitions, is doomed to a dead end. Adding that the Third World War is approaching. And family, when we see that, you see that that one in red written the third world war is approaching because family we know that's all we are waiting for that third world war because we know what the king is going to come in the midst of it let's bring it out must what bring it out let's go to revelation hmm? because that third world war is coming and let's go actually no i do let's do this first yeah third world war is coming uh let's go to revelation is it Revelation 12 6? I think 12 6. Because we know Michael is Michael, obviously. Michael, the archangel. He's coming directly behind Yahawashai. And he is the he's he's the the the, the angel of war. He's, he's the one coming to take down these devil. But here, this is what it says. Let's go straight to the point. It says here. Hmm? Oh, listen to this. And there was war in heaven. Eh? That's right, there will be war here. Esau is in rulership. This is his heaven. That's right. Okay? This is his heaven. But when Michael comes, family, they're going to be up in the atmosphere fighting. Michael, they're going to be in the chariot, sending their lasers. Esau is going to be in their jet planes, fight, you know what? Sending missiles, trying to shoot down the, uh, the, the chariots. But it's not going to prevail. Let's hear what it says. It says here, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon represents what? Esau Edom. Beginning with what? They, their rulership started with what? Alexander the Great. That's right. All the way to the, the Roman Empire. This is the last leg of the Roman Empire. Anytime you hear the dragon, the serpent, referring to who? Esau Edom. The so-called white man. He's the red man. That's right. The dragon, it says, and, war, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. And guess what? And what happened? And prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Let's precept that. Let's go to the book of Daniel 12. Hmm? Let's go here quickly. Daniel 12, because it's through the tribulation. This is all during the tribulation, family. The third world was all part of the tribulation. Because it says here, my, uh, Daniel 12, 1. It says here, straight to the point. It says here, and at that time shall Michael stand up. Eh? The same Michael eh? with the angels and Yahweh Shai. Okay? The same Michael, the archangel, the great prince who standeth for what? The children of thy people. Who is the lost people? The Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble. That's the tribulation that we are going to go through. And part of the, uh, the third world war, the micro to the CHIP that they're going to implement. It's going to go under your skin. Yes, it's all part of the tribulation. But that time, Michael will stand up. So that's why we are praying that this third world war will come up. Yeah? We don't want it to prolong. We want it to start. It says here, here, and there shall be a time of trouble. That's right, the tribulation. Such as never was since there was a nation. Because yeah, third world war, and then missiles are going to be flying. And Michael is going to start, stand up, deliver the children of Israel, and then join the fight. You hear that? A nation even to the same time and at that time, the people, sorry, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. You hear that? These are the elect. The Lord is only coming for an elect. He's not coming to save everybody. Elect. He's only coming for an elect. Read that in Matthew 22 verse, uh, sorry, Matthew 24 verse 22 and Matthew, uh, uh, Matthew 24 verse 29 to 33. Only an elect, a small number. And we are doing, giving diligence to make sure that we don't miss that family reunion. Hmm? That's why we're giving diligence. You see, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. The third world war is coming. You see? So here, 
You see, so now you see, though Michael and his uh, uh, the dragon, Michael and his angel fought the dragon, and then he says, "You are, let's go back, let's go back, just in case somebody missed it." Revelation twelve is twelve seven says here, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angel. And here he says, "What and prevailed not? Neither was their place found any more in heaven." You hear that? Neither their place found any any more in heaven. Because here you can precept that. Let's go to Second Ezra. Because when the Third World War is happening, let's go to Second Ezra. Let's pick it up from here. Because Hawasha is going to show up. Where is it? Mm, here. Let's pick it up from. Uh, let's read it. And it came to pass, after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. Hey, you hear that? A low and there arose a wind from the sea. And thou move all the waves thereof. The clouds are going to move. Hey, family, the cloud is going to move. When you have a child, let's read it. Oh, family, let's do it justice. Let's not break it down. Let's do it justice. It says here, And I beheld, and lo, that man was strong with thousands of heavens. Does you hear that? You have a child. He's coming with thousands of angels. Revelation, no, not Revelation, Psalm 68, verse 17. Thousands and thousands of angels hmm? to come and take down Babylon the Great. You hear that? Let's hear it. says here, And I beheld, and lo, that man was strong with thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance eh, to look, all the things trembled that seen under him. Family, people are going to lose their mind when the king shows up. People are going to get heart attack when they look up and the, the sky is covered with chariots, the so-called UFOs, the UAPs, whatever Esau is calling them. People, that's why I said people's heart failing them for what is coming. Family roughly power phrasing. This is no joke. The king is coming and he's coming in his glory. <laughs> it says here, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth. All they burned that heard of his voice. Like as the earth faileth when it flee, feeleth the fire. You hear that? And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. That's the rest of the nation. Because this is in the midst of third world war. When he shows up. Because remember, he says what? Michael and his angel fought against who? The dragon. That's Esau's army. This is the precept to it. Ezra also saw it. Our forefather Ezra, Uriel, the angel, revealed to Ezra. You hear that? He says, and after this I beheld. And lo, that was gathered together a multitude of men. These are all the nations. Russia, China, South Korea, North Korea, Iran, Israel, uh, what is it called? Uh, USA, all the NATO allies, all these nations fighting in the midst of the Third World War, the War of Armageddon. That's right. This one, Yahweh is going to show up. He says here, from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the men that came out of the sea. So all these nations are going to put their differences aside to face the so-called UFOs, the angels, and Yahweh Shai. And let's hear, let's just find out what the Lord did to them. Let's, let's continue to read. Family, it gets juicy. Hmm. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. You hear that? So when Ezra saw the king, the king, and he saw Yahweh Shai's ship. It looks, he's describing it to a mountain. Anytime I hear the mountain, it takes me to Mount Everest. Because Mount Everest is the biggest mountain. So, family, the ship, this, this is what I picture in my head. I'm just speaking as a man. Even Ezra described the Lord's ship as a mountain. Do you know, the, do you know what it's going to do to people when they see it? They're going to lose their mind. People's heart is going to, heart attack, they were just going to drop dead. <laughs> it says here, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up, uh, flew up, up upon it. And so the, the Lord, our King Yahweh is riding his father's ship because he's coming in his glory. You see, when he came, eh, the last time, he came lonely. He was, no, uh, he came lonely, riding a donkey, eh, 
Yes. Family, he was mauled. Eh? He was beaten. His body was family. The, what they did to Yahweh Shai when they nailed him to the cross. Family. And now he's coming in his glory. Our King Yahweh Shai. The same man that they nailed to the cross. Before they nailed him to the cross. Family. Even at one point on the cross, they gave him piss to drink. This, this is how he was humiliated. Eh? His body was the family. What they did to his body, family. I hope that one day he's going to show us in the kingdom. And now he's coming in his glory. And he went through all that just for us, the children of Israel. We own the king, everything. That's right. That's why we do these lessons. Because he says, if you love me, feed my sheep. And yes, we love the king. That's why we do this. It's a labor of love. Because of, because of what he has done, what he went through, now I have hope. Now you have hope. You are about to inherit a kingdom that you don't deserve. But he's doing it all. He did it all for us. That's the true love that Yahweh Shai is showing us in these last days. Man, we are blessed. Don't take this for don't, don't take this lightly. If you've been called, don't take this lightly. Know the time that we are in, and especially the time that we are about to face. And now you have this truth here, knowing what is coming for you. Honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King Yahweh Shai, for what Yahweh Shai did for us. We are extremely blessed. Let's continue. It says here, But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or a place where, where out the hill was graven and I could not. So he's, he's thinking, man, where did he cut this mountain from? But he couldn't see it. That's how big the ship was. This is how big Yahweh Shai's ship was. I believe that all the elect are going to go into one ship. That's right. And we're talking about millions, probably billions. I don't see billion, but I see millions. Because it says the world to come is only made for few. Hey? It says here, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet thus far. You hear that? All the nations that has gathered to fight him, family, they were so afraid. You hear that? And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift up his hand, nor held a sword, nor any instrument of war. Eh? No, nothing. He's no, no piloting drone. He didn't have a, a machine gun in his hand. But everything that came out of him came out, of, came out from what? The chariot. Let's continue to read. He said, but only I saw that he sent out. He had that out of his mouth. Not his actual mouth, but out, out of the chariot. He says here, as it had been a blast of fire. Listen to this. So fire is coming out and out of it left a flaming breath. So you have fire, flaming breath, and out of the tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. There are going to be all type of stuff coming out of the chariot to do what? And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and bend them up, everyone. You hear that? All the multitude, all these nations that gathered to subdue the king of kings, the Lord of lords, hear what happened to them. It says here, it says, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. And he, and burned them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. Hear what Ezra said. The last sentence says here, when I saw this, I was afraid. Ezra saw Yahweh Shai facing all these nations in the midst of Third World War. You hear that, family? 
We have the sure word of prophecy. This is what is coming. So we can't wait for this thing to fulfill. The third world war is coming. Hey? And here, let's read a bit of here. And then here, after the war, it says here, and after, afterward saw I the same man come down from the mountain, Yahawashai, and call unto him another peace, peaceable multitude. That's the elect. And there came much people unto him, wherefore some were glad, some were sorry, and some of them were bound, and other some brought of, sorry, or other some brought of them that were offered. Then was I sick through great fear, and I awaked and said, Thou hast showed thy servant these wonders from the beginning, and hast counted me worthy that thou should receive my prayer. You hear that? The angel re re uh, revealed to Ezra. He, Ezra saw it. Ezra saw Yahweh Shai destroying these nations. That's right. Finally, we have the sure word of prophecy. Yes. Hey. But anyways, let's go to the book. I think I quoted it. Did I quote it? Uh, let's go. Joel. I think I said Joel. I said, let's finish with that. So family, third world war is coming. Eh? But, but um, River Euphrates is drying up. Eh? All these nations, everybody's doing military drills in the Middle East, Russia, Syria, Iran, uh, uh, USA, Israel. Family, everybody's preparing. Eh? Only for Yahweh Shai to come and destroy all of them. That's what is coming. All these nations and their military. Because the Yahweh Shai pro promised all the fowl of heavens, all the birds, all your vultures, the ravens, the Lord pre uh, pre uh, promised them a huge feast. That's right. A huge feast. So he's going to keep his word, family. He promised them they're going to eat the flesh of kings. And we can't wait to see the birds eh, having a feast. That's all coming. It's all coming together. Eh? It's all coming together. Mm? He said, for behold, in those days, Joel chapter 3, and we're going to wrap this up. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, eh? the Israelite, the family, Remember, we are going back home and eh? we're going to take over Jerusalem. The people living on that land right now, family, let them enjoy it. Eh? Hmm? Let them enjoy it. They are fulfilling prophecy. We're not here to debate. Let them enjoy it because it's the king that's going to take us home. Eh? That's what we are waiting for. I will also gather all nations. Eh? All nations. Why would the Lord gather all the nations? Eh? Let's read on. I will also gather all the nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Let's go in case somebody missed this. This is why the Lord is drying the land. The land, eh? the Euphrates River, so that he can bring the kings of the east to fulfill his will. That's what is coming. And that's why we are so excited. He says here, I will also gather all the nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Mm. Oh, let's go back. What happened here? View the chapter. The valley of Jehoshaphat. Hmm? The Lord's judgment. Actually, let's bring it out. Something says just go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter and then we can break down the... Uh, we can bring it. Let's read in the blue letter so we can bring it down some of these words. Yes, it's nice to look up the words. Let's go to the blue letter. Hmm? I think it's Yahweh Shapat. Yahweh's judgment. Let's go to the book of Joel 3. Joel. Joel 3 and family, we're going to wrap it up. We don't want to wrap it up. Uh, let's go here. It says here, I will also gather all the nations and will, I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Let's look up that word Jehoshaphat and the valley of Jehosh, the valley of Jehoshaphat. What is that? Jehoshaphat. Let's read us here in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 3092. Jehoshaphat. Yeah. Yahweh. Jehoshaphat. Okay. Yahweh has judged. Eh? That's where the Lord is about to family judge this nation. Eh? This is the family. This is the Lord's movie. They are playing their part. They're going to be destroyed. Yes, yes. Because the Lord says He's going to do all His pleasure. Okay. It says here, the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them. And eh? plead means what? To judge. Eh? You see. Let's go back. Let's look up the word plead. Plead with them. That's right. To judge. Govern, vindicate, punish. Eh? You hear the family? The Lord is about to judge this nation. Family, thank you. Thank you. Give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. 
by Hashem Yahushai for making you an Israelite. Mm? Thank him for making you an Israelite. Yes, we are the Hebrew Israelite. Yes, we are the royal family. It says here, I will also... No, what was I? For my people... Sorry, let's read this entire thing. Families, I'm so sorry. I get too excited over this word. Eh? I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead, meaning you are judged with with them there for my people and who are the lost people the israelite the 12th tribe of jacob and for my heritage israel eh, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land who's living on the land right now they're calling themselves the 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 the, the, the jews family eh? the lord this the lord is about to judge them for that eh? the children of israel we will take back that land and we're going to inherit the whole land and we're going to inherit the nations too they're all going into captivity and they have cast lots for my people and have given boy for a harlot during the slave trade family. Yes, they sell some of our women, our boys for what? For just drinks, maybe a, a few uh, uh, weapons, you know, and that's what they sell our children for. And they turn our boys into, into homosexuals and then, you know, into the alphabet lifestyle. This all, they, they did all of this. They did all of this. He says, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. And this is what they did to us. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? The Lord is basically saying what? No, you can't pay the Lord. You can't pay you. You're not going to pay your way out of this. No, 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 no. no. The Lord don't want anything from you. He created the heaven and the earth. He owns everything. There's nothing you can give to the Lord eh? to, to, uh, to, uh, to prevent your judgment. No, the Lord said he will not at all acquit the wicked. Do you know what that means? You will never get away with every, the stuff that you've done to the children of Israel. That's right. The Lord is about to judge this nation. So family, that's why we're telling you, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Your king is coming. It says, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples eh? my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, yeah, the Greek, that ye might remove them far from their border. That's what you've done to us. Some of us during the 70 AD fled into the west coast of Africa. Hmm? It took over the land in 1948. You made a declaration that, yeah, you are returning back to the land. You put yourself as the children of Israel. And now look at that land right now. They haven't found peace since they moved into that land. That's right. The Lord is about to judge you, Israel. Sorry, not Israel. The rest of the nation. No, Israel. No, you are the apple of the Lord's eyes. But there are people living on the land. That's right. The people living on the land. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed on this end. The Lord, again, Yahweh Shai is not saving everybody. Because he, I think he learned his lesson from the last time. You know, because when we got into the wilderness and we, when we left modern day, no, Asian Egypt, we drove Moses nuts. Yes. When Moses went 40 days, 40 nights to receive the uh, commandments, when he came back, what were we doing, family? Where were the children of Israel doing? They were drinking, partying, and they've made themselves an uh, uh, idol already. They were worshiping idol already. We forgot what the Lord just did, to, uh, uh, did for us when he got us out of Egypt. By the time Moses got back with the commandments, family, we were already worshiping other gods. And what did Moses do? He smashed that tablet. You see, we drove Moses. Moses didn't even make it to the promised land. The Lord said, no, no, no. It was Joshua that led us into the promised land. So this time, Yahweh is not going to save everybody. Oh, no. This time, he has a remnant, an elect. And I believe the same ones that were listening to uh, 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 Moses in the wilderness, the same one the Lord is going to deliver this time. And we believe that we were there. The family, I'm just speaking as a man. That's just my faith. You know, that's just my faith. You know? But we are thankful for this gospel. And we don't take it lightly. You see? We don't take it lightly. He says here, Behold, I will raise them out. He said, Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head. 
and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. That's right, we're going to own all of them. All the nations, we're going to own them. There will be slave trade in the kingdom, by the way. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. This is the nation. That's right. It said, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw nigh. Let them come up. Where are they come up? It's, it's, they are coming up where? Let's continue to read, family. Hey, let's continue to read. It says here, let them, let it say, beat your plowshares into swords. And hey, now, family, what's the modern day swords? Different types. You have drones. And you have intercontinental ballistic missiles. You have machine guns. You have all type of weaponry. And these are the modern day swords. And it says here, uh, what is it? Uh, yes, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. And let the weak say, I am strong. That's why you see all these nations right now standing up to America. And the nations before they couldn't open their mouth, but now they notice that what well, Babylon the Great is weak and weak and weak. So now they are standing up. The Lord says, "What? Well, let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourself and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together round about thither. Cause thy mighty, listen to this, call thy mighty ones to come down. O Lord, and Yahweh, that's right, he's the one that's going to judge them. It says here, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen roundabout. That's why the river Euphrates is drying up to make the way for what? The kings of the east to fulfill the Lord's word, his prophecy. And nobody can resist the will of the Lord. So give honor, glory to the only power that matters, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And it says here, and put in ye the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Judgment, family, come get you you down for the press is full the fast overflow for their wickedness is great family wickedness is exceedingly polluted the whole earth so yes judgment is here they can't they can't go any further they can't go any further so this place is right for the harvest the harvest is here from the lord is about to judge this place he says here multitudes multitudes in the valley of the session for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Because fine, when those missiles hit and the smoke will rise up, it will cover the sun, it will cover the moon. It's going to be darkness. It says the day of the Lord is pure darkness, pure gloominess. That's what is coming. Eh? That's what is coming. It says here, the Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord, the other, the Lord Yahweh will be the hope of his people, Israel, the elect and the strength of the children of Israel. Family, I will end it there. I hope you are edified. That's why we do this lesson to build your faith. And we have the sure word of prophecy. Don't worry about what Esau, Edom is about to do. He's about to take the biggest loss of his life. Eh? His kingdom is coming to an end. The Lord is preparing the way. They're all preparing their military. Exercise, exercising, eh? join USA and Israel. Begin join military exercise. They're all preparing to fulfill the will of the Lord. Yahweh Shah is going to come in the midst of that third world war and throw it down. That's what we're looking forward to. So, beloved, I will live with it. All praises, honor, glory to the only power that matters, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our king, Yahweh Shai, whom we cannot wait to see. And family, I will live with it. Honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, our king. Hmm? And to you, the hopeful elect, I say shalom.